Mr. President, members of your uh, administration, it is a great satisfaction to me to welcome you to the United States to have this opportunity to discuss with you the great opportunities as well as responsibilities which our two countries face in the days ahead in this great hemisphere. It has been a source of pride to us that the United States was the first country early in the 19th century to recognize your country as an independent and sovereign state. And from that time till the present, the United States and Brazil have moved hand in hand together in war, as allies during two great struggles for freedom, and in peace, in a common effort to build a better life for the people who live in our countries and who live in our hemisphere. 26 years ago, President Franklin Roosevelt, in visiting Brazil during the administration of President Vargas, committed uh, the United States to a great uh, national and international effort to provide a more prosperous and fruitful life for the uh, people of the Western Hemisphere. Brazil uh, has attempted in the years since then to do that within her own country and within Latin America in Operation Pan America. And we have been attempting together in the Alianza Para El Progreso in the last 15 months to work together for that effort, to provide housing for our people, education for our children, employment for our workers, security for our older citizens, a better and more secure life for our farmers, to realize in this hemisphere the hope of those who originally came here so many centuries ago. So Mr. President, we look to the future, and we look to the future with hope. And our hope comes in part because of the leadership that you are giving to your own great country. We value this visit, and we want you to know that we extend the hand of friendship to you and to the people of your great country who occupy such a position of significance today on the world scene. Mr. President, you're most welcome.